Hello, hello, my good people. Fuji here, bringing you back another boring video. Uh, it's boring to me because I really don't want to be doing this right now. I want to be driving my car, not fixing it. But yeah, the video is going to be about me fixing the holes, crap, whatever that's on the car, just, just fixing it. Uh, yeah, so we're going to do that today, so that's going to be fun. I actually spent a good part of yesterday, I believe. Yeah, yesterday doing a lot of cosmetics to the car or just fixing it up here and there what I can. I didn't want to do it on a video because I'm going to do some today and I don't want to make the video too long. I don't want to make it into a two-parter. I don't want to watch that. You don't want to watch that. I don't even know why I'm putting this video out, but I'll just, I'm just going to do it, I guess. So yeah, I'm going to do a little bit today, post that, and then we're going to start wrapping the car so I can finally drive this thing because who wants to take a look at this? No one wants to take a look at that. No one wants to see that. Seriously though, I took my car out in the driveway to fix yesterday and I could literally see my neighbors barfing inside. Like it's just, that's pretty sad. So you can see how I want to just fix this up as quick as possible and just, just fix it up. I need it. I need it. All right, let me show you what I've done though, so far. Okay, one obvious thing to notice here is the fitment. So I used my heat gun to heat this polyurethane body kit to make it fit on the car. And that's because this body kit was not designed for this car. It was designed for an M3. And I'm not sure if you know, if you do know, I don't really care. This is not an M3. This is just a regular E92, nothing special. And even the body kit, it's a replica kit. It's not a true Liberty Walk kit. It's, a, it's by Vice Res or res or however you say it. So yeah, uh, a lot of fun molding it and changing it and blah, blah, blah. And as you can see here, I had to pretty much cut this much of the body kit and extend it just to make it fit on this car. So I'm not exactly sure how this car was designed for an M3 because it's, it was too short, but apparently it is. Okay, so I fixed this using a heat gun and I just formed it to the side skirt here. Even on this side, so I'm going to be attaching this from here at the bottom, so it should give it a lot better fitment. Oh, and one thing I do want to do today is fix all the holes, like the bullet holes I was talking about, just the regular screw holes that I showed in the previous video. So I'm going to be fixing those. And I was saying that I want to use Bondo, but I'm probably not going to use Bondo because Bondo takes tens to break a lot of times. So I'm actually going to try something new, and we'll see if it works or not. Hopefully it won't break, and that is flex tape. Leaky pipes can cause major damage. That's a lot of damage. But flex tape grips on tight and bonds instantly. If you have not watched the video about JonTron and flex tape, watch it. It's hilarious. It's awesome. You, uh, that's where I got the idea. Okay, so for example, here there was a little, I guess, little concave area that was dipping in I fixed it with flex tape it broke off again as I was taking the wrap off so I just filled it with flex tape and now it's kind of not flex tape flex glue I guess I don't know doesn't matter um, and now it's kind of like a rubbery feel so I just got to sand it off straighten it out and it should be good to go and I hope this time it won't rip off or break off or whatever all right, and then also over here, there's some flex tape here that I put because this completely broke off. Oh, it gets snapped in piece, in half, kind of. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff to fix. Fantastic. And here as well, as I was molding it in, uh, there was a lot of flex tape or flex glue or, hold on. Okay, flex paste, not flex glue, not flex tape, flex paste. All right, and then lastly, I did go ahead and cut into this side skirt here, and I believe a little bit on the other sides as well, just so I can give a better fitment to this body kit here. So now there should be no gap. And as you can see here, I cut it quite a bit off just so I can have fitment. And no one's gonna see, so I don't really give a crap that I cut it off. Okay, so we're gonna fix some of the bullet holes on the car, and some parts I have to screw in the body kit doesn't actually, won't actually screw in anymore because I some of the kit off. So we're gonna weld on a nut just so I can screw it on. Yeah. Anyways, uh, yeah, we're gonna do that. We're gonna, and then see what else I have to do, fix that, and that's just gonna be the end of this video, and then hopefully the next video I'm actually gonna start wrapping the car finally. So yeah, 
that's the agenda, that's the plan. You don't like it, I don't care. Actually, I care. I care, puppy. <laughs> all right, let's do this. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is use a Sharpie and mark all the bullet holes. Why do I keep saying bullet holes? Mark all the holes that, that I don't need uh, just so because there's a lot and there's some that I don't want to fill up. So I'm going to mark those just so I know what I need to fill up. And this is a permanent marker and if you want to use the same process you can. You can take, off, take it off with alcohol or I would be careful on this one but you can also use acetone as well. For me, I just don't care. I mean, as you can see I am well past caring for what marks are on this car. I either fix them or I just rip through it and tear it up like I just don't care, as you can see. So, I don't care. So let's mark it up and fix it up. Let's do it. All right, this first one in the middle here, I'm gonna need to cover up. Uh, these two I actually use. This one is to hold the bumper in place. And then this one is for the kit. And yeah, I know it looks fugly, but again, it gets covered up, so who cares? Um, I'm actually planning on changing the bumper sometime the rear bumper sometime because I actually don't like this one I want to get polyurethane so if there is some misforming or something of all that junk I can actually take it off and reform it myself so let's just mark this one I'll just do this bam now we know to fill that one up all right now let's see if there's any behind here so yeah as you can see or can't see I don't really know uh, this thing's really filled up gotta fix this one anyways uh, as you can see, this one gets used, this one does not get used. So we're going to put an X on this one here and fill that one up too. Alright, let's just, let's just remove this first and then we'll see what we need to, what we need and, we, and what we don't need. Alright. Yeah, there's a lot of holes, a lot of holes. A lot of holes, not a lot of holes. She's definitely seemed like she's been neglected a lot. This is what I meant by bullet holes, by the way. All right, okay. So, this is right here. So these, both of these guys need to be filled. This is up here, so this needs to be filled. This needs to be filled. Okay, so now I'm gonna do one more time on these guys here and then the other side I'm just gonna do it without actually just putting it on camera because who cares? Uh, so yeah, let's take this off and this off and let's see what holes I should really be careful with my words. What holes, I guess, I don't really care. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm making this any better that I need to fill. All right, let's do this. All right, I'm gonna take this off and this guy off as well. And I attach this right now with some uh, zip ties just so it doesn't fall off. Okay, as you can see, the car looks disgusting. I mean, it was already disgusting before, now it's just even more disgusting. Uh, so now let's just fill up the holes. These holes, however, I'm gonna go ahead and keep because I actually use zip ties to hold it in place. Not only do I bolt it, but I also use zip ties just for extra precaution. And it's under the case or under the kit. So again, like the millionth time, no one's gonna see it. So again, don't care. All right, let's fill up the hose. Let's fill up the hose, baby. Okay, um, bam, bam, bam. This is for, looks like this is here. So we're gonna get rid of this guy. Any more, so we're gonna keep those. So that guy's gonna stay, this is gonna be gone. And just double check. All right, all right, so we filled out we're gonna fill out this one, these two here, one here, and these ones seem to be good. As you can see, this one's already been filled out a while ago. So that's the hole I had to cut, just so I can get correct fitment. Looks ugly as hell, but 
it'll do the job. And then here, it looks like I only need to fill out one hole, which might be this one, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I believe it's this one. And then these, again, I'm gonna keep. Um, yeah, and that's it. And again, we're gonna go ahead and try out the paste, or the flex paste, flex tape, whatever. Hopefully that works, since it's kind of rubberized, no vibration or anything's gonna break it. So we'll see how that works. If that doesn't work, I'll give you an update. But I'm thinking it's going to work better than Bondo because it's not, again, it's not hard, it's rubber. So we'll see. All right, now that all those are done, I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side real quick and then we'll fill it up and uh, get onto some other stuff that I have no idea what yet, probably the welding crap. And yeah, we're just gonna call that a video. Nice and short, hopefully. So, like an idiot, I was filming the other side, filling it up and all that garbage and come to find out that the mic was off, so I was talking to myself the whole time. <laughs> What's new? And so yeah, let me go and just show you what I did, I guess. I'm not about to do the other side. Well, I'm about to do it, but I'm not about to film and all that garbage. Just, it's, uh. So, as you can see, I filled these guys up. Yeah, there was a lot of uh, paste that needed to be on this one specifically, just because it just, if I don't, if you don't have a putty knife, it's just really hard to fill, fill these holes. So as you can see, there's a, a large access or excess or whatever, however you say it, uh, amount of paste on here that I have to sand off eventually. So that's gonna be extremely fun. Um, we're gonna go through the process together because I know how much you wanna see it. <laughs> all right, all right. Okay, so the holes are fixed or filled, I guess. So while that's drying, I'm gonna go ahead and sand them tomorrow. I'll put that in the video as well. Uh, but I did some other fixing yesterday, so we're gonna sand those and then maybe weld some stuff that needs to be welded, like the nuts I was talking about or the screws, whatever. So we're gonna do that. And then again, tomorrow we'll sand whatever we just filled up today and then we'll call that a wrap. So this is still pretty, so this is still pretty, I guess, loose per se. It's not very hard, but that's what I expected. Kind of like a rubberized material, plasticky, not chalk like, uh, like Bondo. So let's see how it sands off. Hopefully it sands off good and it stays on well. If it doesn't, then that really sucks. Which would suck because I just spent uh, two hours, an hour and a half, just putting paste onto the holes that I could have been filling it up with Bondo. I feel like Bondo fills up the holes a lot faster. Stuff's kind of messy, but hopefully it works. We'll see, we'll see. I'm not judging yet. Oh my God, I took forever. Um, finally done. My hands are killing me because uh, it took forever. And used a lot of sandpaper. I used 80 grit sandpaper and I used 220 as well. So I made it super smooth, super silky smooth. Um, yeah, it took forever. Didn't want to show the whole thing as I was running out of battery for my camera and taking up extra memory on the uh, memory. Yeah, that makes sense. So yeah. So I'm gonna move on to the next one and start all over again. So let's sand this guy. Shouldn't take as long because it's a lot smaller. Again, I should be using a machine, but just wanna make sure it comes out right. I don't wanna do it again. But I'm happy to know that it actually works as opposed to Bondo and it's not gonna break as easily. So that's, it's worth it, it's worth it. I was just gonna show this, do the other ones off camera and then do some tomorrow. I don't wanna just do this as a whole video, it's kinda of boring. All right, 
so this one still has some holes here and there. So I'm gonna have to do another coat on this one just to fill it up and then re-sand it. Uh, just a little bit though, just so that these holes get filled up and that's normal. Okay, that's enough of the sanding. I'm gonna go ahead and do it now, the rest of it off camera. But like I said, I'm not about to show all the sanding on the camera. It's, I'm, that's a weird video. Anyways, um, and I'm not sure if I'm gonna get to the welding part now or later, but I'm gonna see how long this sanding crap takes me and then we'll go from there. So, yeah, it's nighttime. That was a lot of sanding and some parts needed to be put back together because they, yeah, let's just not talk about it. So I had to put it back together. Uh, anyways, uh, looks like I'm gonna have to continue this little joyful, wonderful story of my life tomorrow. So I will see you in a second.